What is up with mortgage insurance? That's what we're talking about today. How's it going? I'm Eric West, Utah real estate agent. Jason Christiansen, mortgage lender. Tyler Kazer, Utah real estate agent. So today we're talking about this thing we call mortgage insurance. And everybody, like there's different things for it, different programs, different things. That's why we're talking to a lender today. What is mortgage insurance? Mortgage insurance insures the investor against losses if the borrower defaults. This is different than homeowner's insurance, which we talked about recently. Right. But you need this if you don't have a sufficient down payment or if you're choosing a non-QM loan or a riskier loan. A non-QM? Okay. Non-qualified mortgage. So how about you give us a quick rundown on mortgage insurance, which loans I have to have it on, which loans I don't. Okay. Does, it, does it go yeah. away? Does it not? Can you get a loan without mortgage insurance? Oh, easy. Like, okay, yeah. so what is, and, and there's all these side. different loans. Give us a rundown on what that is. Okay, so to get a loan without mortgage insurance, you want right. to get a conventional loan. Freddie, Fanny, are going to buy this loan. This is a qualified mortgage. This is what the industry says. This is a good loan. Mm-hmm. And you're going to put 20% or more down. Where does that number come from? Mortgage. 20%. That's 20%. a magical number. In 1957, mortgage insurance was reintroduced to the U.S. market mm-hmm. um, as a guarantee for lenders that someone <coughs> would reimburse them for losses sustained upon default of the mortgage. In the 1930s, in the Great Depression, all mortgage insurance companies ate it. And FHA came, in, okay. came into being, which insured mortgages, but still, like, before then, you had to have 50% down, there was a 10-year call on your mortgage. So, um, having FHA come into existence, which mm-hmm. has uh, a version of mortgage insurance on it, and uh, then later having mortgage in- mortgage insurance introduced by private companies made it possible for you to get a home okay. for less than 20% down. So as long as you bring 20% down payment mm-hmm. into this loan uh, or into this property, basically the lender looks at it and goes, okay, you've got skin in the game, and so I'm not going to impose on you. It's not much so much skin in the game as it is can the loss of foreclosing on the home and then selling it Mm-hmm. be absorbed with the amount of equity. And that takes about 20%-ish. Ish. 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 Right. Okay. Right. Some, right now, a lot of mortgage insurance companies will insure up to 30%. But as a general rule, so like FHA, if you default, mm-hmm. FHA takes the house back. The investor is totally protected. They don't suffer any loss. They're reimbursed 100%. Okay. FHA has an upfront premium and monthly insurance. And that will stay on for the life of the loan unless you put 10% down at the get-go. So you can have a 10% FHA loan. 90% loan to value, FHA, yes. Uh-huh. And then that comes off after, after 11 years. Okay. So not all FHA loans have mortgage insurance for the life of them. Right. Now, can you refi out of it? Yeah, sure. If you have a loan that has mortgage insurance and you've got sufficient equity, you can go into conventional loan without mortgage insurance. And that's really, really popular. Yeah. Just to drop off the PMI. But there are also programs where the PMI gets dropped off no matter what, right? Only on conventional loans. Only, so That's only on conventional, no right. FHA. Right. Conventional loans have private mortgage insurance. <laughs> which the is in, PMI, sorry. That's a, which that's is a, PMI. Okay, gotcha. Conventional loans have MIP. USDA Not loans the same have thing? a guarantee fee. All the same thing, though. All same, means same, same idea. Same idea. Yeah. Okay. Just so called different things because it's different companies <laughs> right. doing the... Well, FHA itself takes the payment. Okay. They have a mortgage insurance premium that goes to FHA. Mm-hmm. A conventional loan, the investor holds the risk of the loan and then has you insure it with a private in company. If they sustain a loss, they can then file a claim against this company and be reimbursed. Okay. And then USDA? USDA has a guarantee fee that goes to USDA. Now, also, USDA's premium never goes away. This is there forever. It's there forever there. for life alone. But it's also, fun. they allow 100% financing. Right. So, they got a really good So, niche. theoretically, like, let's say I got a USDA loan, 100% mm-hmm. financing. Mm-hmm. It takes me a few years, maybe 10 years, longer probably, but I finally get to the point where I've got 20%-ish equity. Mm-hmm. Now, I can refinance out of that. 
Yeah, but it's a really bad idea because USDA typically Why? has. Then I can get rid of the um, the acronym <laughs> and you can get rid of <laughs> and that little guarantee fee, fee that I have to pay. Yeah, but the problem, the thing is with USDA, you're paying like 0.35% of of this guarantee fee, of this rate. Uh But USDA interest rates are consistently lower than conventional. Oh, I see. Okay, so So, it kind of offsets what you're paying. Right. So it doesn't always benefit you to jump and hurry and refi just to get out of mortgage insurance. Now, you want to refi for another reason. If rates went way low or you're trying to pull money out to do something or whatever... But just for the reason of getting rid of mortgage insurance, it doesn't always run. May not be a good idea. The numbers to just do that. Right. I always suggest you take the interest hmm. rate, you add the mortgage insurance premium on top of that, and then like use that number to go off of. Because a lot of times people just think I'll refinance and save money because I'm getting rid of my mortgage insurance. What they don't realize is they're refinancing to a higher rate or into a not as good program. Okay. So mortgage okay. insurance is actually a great, great benefit, especially now where you can buy a home with less down, start gaining the appreciation at 3 to 5% mm-hmm. while you're only paying a fraction of a percentage in mortgage insurance. Get ahead a lot quicker. Can I shop for my own mortgage insurance? You like can you said, ask it's your another investor. company who does it. Mm-hmm. Does, does the purchaser have any... Like opinion, like can they voice their opinion? Like, I don't like that. Is there better rates, or is mortgage insurance just flat numbers based off of? There are space? separate. Like who? Yeah. Where? Where? Where yeah. does it come from? There are a few companies that offer mortgage insurance, mm-hmm. but that shopping is done primarily through your lender. It wouldn't be a bad idea to say, have you checked with a few companies to make sure which one will give me the best rate? Because they do have their preferences. Hmm. Yeah. Some don't mind lower credit scores as much as others. Everybody has their little sweet spot. So I would check when you're getting a mortgage that requires mortgage insurance for them to check with your investor about. All right, I have another question, Jason. Yeah. Refine to get out of that mortgage insurance. Rates dropped, you wanna refi, you wanna look at all this. Where does that 20% equity actually come from off of what you originally got the loan for? Can I go get uh, an appraisal done? Do I just best guess of where I think my house is worth now? You got it off Zillow. Uh, uh, yeah, where, <laughs> where where do I get? Who gives me tells me what my twenty percent is? Can I have Tyler, that my real estate agent, come over and say, "Hey, your house is worth this now," and then they come and talk to you and like, how does that work? This is what I suggest. So. You- when you're thinking about refinancing to drop mortgage insurance, talk to a real estate agent because they're going to have a pretty good idea of what your home is valued at. They can do a CMI or a broker's opinion of value. And it's cheaper than paying for an appraisal right off the bat. Yeah. Right. right. Well, a lot of times, a lot of times you can talk to a real estate agent mm-hmm. and they'll run a quick valuation for you okay. for free. Right. Mm-hmm. So you get an idea. If that supports twenty percent equity below 80% loan to value, I would talk to a lender. They will order an appraisal. Mm -hmm. He'll go out and establish value. Mm -hmm. And then you can begin the process of refinancing. And then it becomes all official because you do have an appraisal. Most likely you'll have an appraisal if it's close. Alternatively, if you've got a good interest rate Mm -hmm. and you have mortgage insurance, but you've had crazy appreciation like we've had right now, you can contact your servicer and have them send out an appraiser. Plan on paying a little bit more for this appraisal and plan on not having much control over it. So talk to a real estate agent first, yeah. make sure you've got that value there mm-hmm. and they can drop that mortgage insurance. In the 1990s, they passed a law saying mortgage insurance has to come off at 78% loan to value. That's kind of misunderstood. Only if it's a conventional loan. Right. That's FHA, the, it'll be there forever. Until you refi out of it. So and doesn't, doesn't that have to be the original value of the loan? Not appreciated value, right? FHA, it really doesn't matter because it's going to be there. No, I mean for the conventional where it drops off at 78% loan to value. Yeah, that's, and that's established upon purchase price. And a lot of people have said, well, that's really crooked of investors to do. But the thing is it's actually ease of use. So you buy your house. The value is established by the purchase price or the appraised value, whichever is lower. Right. The investor gets this paperwork, kathunk, and that's what they track. 
So if you want it updated, they will update it for you. You call in and you say, hey, I'll pay for an appraiser to come out and you can update your paperwork. And they'll say, okay, Mm -hmm. right? Otherwise, they're gonna use what's in front of them because their job is to collect your payment and keep your mortgage in force. So you keep your house. Yeah. Not from this is a This is a dumb but legitimate question. How do you know if you have an FHA loan or a conventional loan? You sign more paperwork when you No, no, no. It's been 10 years. <laughs> okay. Fine. And you don't remember what you have. On? Does it say anywhere on your bill or how do you find out? And you don't know where your loan docs are because they gave them to you in long pieces of paper and you shoved them somewhere because they were really annoying. Yeah, put them in a safe place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your mortgage statement should say what type of loan it is. If it doesn't, you can have a credit report pulled. Your credit report will reference if it's conventional FHA or VA loan or USDA. Yeah. Okay, guys, what'd you learn today? Mortgage insurance, it stays on for the life of the loan on FHA and USDA loans. And on conventional loans, it falls off at 78%, not 80% like everybody thinks about. All right. What'd you learn? Comment below. (laughs) Thanks for listening to me yammer about PMI. I hope it wasn't TMI. Like, comment, subscribe. Boom, mine's oh. recording, and I have... Jeez. <laughs> I got it before you did. Hey. <laughs> Tourette's. <laughs> Tourette's, no kidding. Who's going to have the lowest rate? I'm sorry! Because <laughs> 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 you're getting ping pong head going all over the place. I feel bad for you. You're gonna have. I like you're, looking at the person to, who's speaking. I know, but you're going to have to go to the chiropractor tomorrow because you're the ping pong guy. <laughs> That's all right. Go. Cool. Okay. I just love doing that. What? Thing. You get this stupid look on your face. Because <laughs> I look at him, because I know Tyler's like, you beat him too. He's like, that's my thing. <laughs> you just took my thing, dude. <laughs> Dang it, Eric, we just talked about my, this. My eyes itched, and that was a really good break. What? 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 Oh, I get crazy with this snippy snippy. <laughs> I'm the one who spoke everything. No, he should everything. start off and be like, hey, so what did you two knuckleheads learn today? Sorry, wait, what did I oh, learn I don't today? know what I learned yet. <laughs> Hold on. I said, it's been a long day of a lot of thinking. Like you said, your eyeballs itch, my brain itches. What did you guys learn today? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did that make any sense to you? Nope. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. That didn't make any sense. Let's do it again. You have to have... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs>